Dougie Almeida is headlining at Goonies Comedy Club this weekend. David Zasloff is the feature performer. He's Thank right you. over here. How are you, gentlemen? We're great. Thanks for coming in. Thanks. In your you. leather. You yeah, look good. Well. I like it. It's the weather. It's cold up here. <laughs> it is a little chilly. The sun was shining today, so we can't complain up here in Minnesota. The both of you, though, you know cold weather a little bit. You originally are both from New York. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I and was one of the first Jewish ski instructors in Vermont, so I know what cold is. Wow, there you go. Yeah. So you like skiing? I love skiing. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Do you still find time to ski? Not this year. Not this year? Maybe next year. Maybe next year. Okay, okay. <laughs> and we have a big show coming up tonight. Yeah. It's already Friday, isn't it? And tomorrow, 7.30, yeah. the both of you will be there. Right. Do you work together? Yeah, we do a lot. Like, uh, I recently moved to South Carolina from South Florida. Oh, okay. And we met. Two New Yorkers, sure. In you know, in, in South Carolina. Where at in South Carolina? Greenville, okay, South Carolina. Okay, nice. Area. And uh, yeah, and I and there's not a, a younger comedy scene, so I found an older comedy. <laughs> fellow. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So what can people expect? Uh, you will be headlining. Yes. Dougie, what what can people expect if they come out tonight and tomorrow? Well, you know, we don't want anybody woke. You know, this is not a. <laughs> You know, it, it, you expect, you know, it's not really offensive. We're not dirty. I don't think sure. we're dirty. I don't know. I uh, think we're adult. Yeah, we're adult. <laughs> we're no, don't don't bring adult. your children. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, and, uh, but expect to laugh. You know, it, it, we're in a day and age where, uh, you know, we need to laugh. We've got a lot going on, and yeah. it's the only way we're going to get through well, it. Laughing we're, is good we're, medicine. We're both very funny. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> and he's very, uh, his ad libs are incredible. You yeah, have to have that, incredible. top notch. Right. So is there audience engagement, involvement, or no? Not involvement, but they... They laugh. <laughs> they like, they're going to love the show. The show okay. is great. It's a great show. So David, you play a bunch of instruments? I play eight instruments. Okay. Uh, I, was, uh, I, was, I recorded with Linkin Park. Okay, uh, really? I was on their Matoria <laughs> album. I played Japanese shako, shakuhachi flute on their, on their CD. Do you bring this to the show? I have a trumpet with me okay, for, trumpet. This, for this show. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And Dougie, um, you're there for the jokes. He has a yeah. little bit of the, the I may musical sing. comedy. I may sing a little bit. Oh, okay. I, there's a couple of jokes I may use I like my pipes, that. but, uh, I like but no that. instruments. So outside of comedy, what are some of the most, I feel like comedians are always doing all these different things all over the country. I mean, you're a multi-instrument player, but you have other things. Were you in a couple shows? Well, I, I used to, I've done everything. I was a professional Thai boxer oh, that's right. uh, for yes. a while and uh, I manage money for a living. <laughs> I'm, I'm still doing that. Yeah, okay. Uh, Are we all? <laughs> yeah, like somewhat, you know. But nowadays, why not? You know, yeah. I mean, you have fun. And we started late. That's why we kind of call this little tour the Not Too Old for Comedy Tour. Right. So you two are together predominantly? Well, we, we're, we're just friends. We're yeah. both. Well, we've he's done, married. We've done a lot of good shows <laughs> yes. together. That's what I mean. Yeah. I just mean you go out together, though, and yeah. do a lot of shows together. Right. I prefer brunettes. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I could, do like I could your change hair, though. That. You have not, yes, <laughs> could get some hair dye. I do like your hair, though. That's, yeah, right? That's popping. Yeah. I'm pretty cool with it. I like it. I like it. All right, tickets still available. Goonies Comedy Club, South Broadway in Rochester. You can check out these two. We have our headliner. We have our feature performer. And uh, a lot of laughs to be had this weekend at Goonies Comedy Club. Again, 730, both nights. If you order tickets online, they're a little bit cheaper than at the door, but you can get them at the door as well. Anything more that you'd like our viewers to know? Just come to the show. You'll have a good time. Yeah, yeah. you will laugh, and uh, we will. I will. We won't pick on you, but you'll definitely be part of the show. <laughs> Laughing's good. No Thank stage you too. diving. <laughs> okay, well, you could try. There isn't anything we don't talk about. Okay. We talk about everything. Oh boy. Marriage. Nothing's birth, off limits. Birth, money, <laughs> relationships. Birth. Like, how you doing? like how you say birth is like the second <laughs> thing. Great. Looking yeah. forward to it. Well, nine months. <laughs> but we make fun of it. Oh, good. Even better. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we were all born, so I guess why not talk about it, right? Were you born? <laughs> Who was born in the room? Right. Thank you two so much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Again, you can get tickets. You can find the link on our website, kgdc.com. Thanks again. Much more to come here on Midwest Access, including ugly sweater help with Miss Angie Severson. Look at her over there. Did you just make a mess? Did Derek, the intern, you're going to have to sleep that up after this. <laughs> <laughs> She'll join us when we come back. Plus, we have to remind you of our question of the day. David or Dougie, if you have an answer, let me know. 27% of people don't have this in the kitchen. I said TV. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. That's a good answer. Hopefully. I wasn't does. paying attention. 27% <laughs> of people don't have this in the kitchen. Food. Food. Okay. Well, <laughs> some hungry people. We always hear about hunger in America, so maybe that's it, right? Yeah. All right. We'll tell you the actual answer coming up just before five.